Hello everyone and welcome back to Stu's Retro Reviews. We're doing alright at the moment. Uh, I've got a top 10 here on the ZX Spectrum for you. Really difficult to choose because uh, the spec has got such a massive library of games and too many classics. <laughs> anyway, at number 10, we've got Cobra. Now uh, this is an excellent little platformer. Um, sort of running gun as well. And... Uh, you can be playing on it for a matter of minutes or seconds because the difficulty on it is absolutely solid. But uh, just look at it, look at those graphics. I just think, uh, when I seen it back in the day, I just thought, I was reading the magazine, you, you are Sinclair, and uh, I thought I've got to get that game, so I did. And yeah, just a very fun game, and uh, one I always come back to. So the what you need to do in the game is you need to collect hamburgers, get the weapons, and save your girl. And I've just shot her. <laughs> yes. So yeah. So I get a hamburger here. And I've got a shotgun. No, I've got a machine gun. So there's my girl there. Classic game. Made by Joffa Smith. Back in 86. Number 9. So this is a darts game, obviously, um, called 180. Um, this is the only darts game I've ever played on the ZX Spectrum. I know there was a couple of that as well, um, Chucky Wilson's darts and Wacky darts, but I don't think I've ever played them. Um, but I remember going to my mate's house back in the day, and I had two player of this, and uh, it was just such... It used to have dart boards as well on my walls, and I used to play this, and was probably the best thing ever. Really nice graphics, nice music. Um, we have a single player as well, you can see the carrot on the screen there. And uh, really, really good darts game, if you like a bit of darts. This is probably the best one you can probably get on the ZX Spectrum, I would say. So yeah. I also had speech on as well, and said 180. Number 8, we have Target Renegade. Now, uh, one of the reasons I've chose this, I could have chose the first one as well because the original Renegade from the arcades was absolutely brilliant game. And this uh, is obviously the sequel. And uh, basically, it's a two player game. And you can pick up weapons. And uh, yeah, you can used to play this with your brother and your mates. Class game, probably one of the best beat em ups you can get on the Specky. Worth a go, everyone, if you're interested in the ZX Spectrum games. This deserves to be in my top 10, I think. Flying kick, you can punch. You see, you can use weapons. Absolutely class. That's all I can say about this one. Now, yeah, just name in the bollocks. Got to be done. And fly and kick the finish. <laughs> yeah. A lot of fun with this back in the day. Okay. Number seven. Bruce Lee. Absolutely class game as well. And uh, this came out in 84, made by Datasoft and Ocean, I think, I believe. And uh, yeah, you've just got to try to get through each level at a time, at each screen. You've got a little ninja there trying to finish you off and also a big lad at the top there. And what all I have to do is collect all the lanterns I possibly can on each screen. And then there's the big boss at the end. Yes, and uh, the big boss at the end is absolutely huge. It takes up half the screen, I would say. But uh, this is one of those games which, uh, I didn't complete that many games back in the day, but this is one of them I did. And uh, if I can complete the game, anybody can. But yeah, pity they didn't make a sequel of this game. As it's an absolute classic. Bruce Lee. Number 6. 
So this is Commando uh, from the arcades. And you see it just moves really fast. You've got a machine gun. You've got to just shoot everyone. Blow everyone up with your grenades. As you can see there, the range of the machine gun is pretty decent. And uh, as you can see there, nice, nice colours. Uh, not much sound. The gameplay is absolutely spot on on this. It really is. I know people go on about the Commodore 64 version with the theme by Robert Hubbard. But the gameplay on this, I would say, is better. It's just a little bit faster. And I think it's a bit more fun. And it's got all the levels from the arcade. The Commodore didn't. So yeah, just shoot the hell out of everything you possibly can. Number 5 Stay away from that trapdoor Because there's something down there Yeah, so it's trapdoor Absolutely brilliant uh, TV series from the 80s It's all animation I remember Yeah, and I loved it back in the day I Used to come home from school at quarter past four Put it on, it was only on for five minutes It was so funny The characters are great The blue character there is Burke uh, the yellow one's Drut, he was actually grey in the series. And the skull is Bony. And uh, basically all i got to do is make a meal for him upstairs. And that's exactly what Burke had to do in the TV show back in the day. So yeah. I've put Drut down the trap door because he's a pain in the backside. It says, Bony gives you some tips as well how to make the meals. But yeah, I've had enough, so I'm just going to go down myself. <laughs> great characters, great animation on this. And John Priestley done this uh, game proud. He made a few other great games, including Popeye and Ben Hill's Madcap Chase, and a few others. But yeah, I'm a complete failure, and I'm fired. What a pity. <laughs> okay. So, number four. So, this is a Kari Warriors. Another vertical shooter. And uh, another great game. Very similar to the previous game I had on there, Commando. And yeah, the reason I chose this is I used to play this with my mates. Uh, I remember I come home from school, finished at 12 o'clock, got home for quarter past 12, played this for half an hour with my mate. And then we left a tent to back to school for one o'clock. <laughs> Played it for weeks on end. And uh, the one summer I remember. Absolutely brilliant game. A lot of fun. I remember the arcade version as well. Made by Konami. Excellent game. And uh, so you want to get, some, get the tank here. You can just squash all these men. Finish off the enemies like that. Absolutely class. Get on the my tank, you bummer. <laughs> Class game. A brilliant two player as well. Number three. This is School Days. Uh, one of the first games I used to play. Uh, when I got the spec as well. And it does take me back to my school days as well. And uh, I just thought this was brilliant. Absolutely excellent. The first thing you do is you can change all the names of the main characters and the teachers. And uh, yeah, obviously I used to put my friends' names in. I used to put the teachers from school name in. Absolutely great. you just got to collect all the shields as you can see what I'm doing here. Uh, without getting too many lines. If you get 10,000 lines, that's it. It's game over. So you can punch, as you can see there. And uh, also fire a catapult. And you can do lo loads of different things. You just got to like attend the lessons. Try not to get as many lines as possible. Just get these trophies. Get also right on the blackboard as well. Yeah. Just to put some rude names on, I remember. So what should I put in? Yeah, ass. Yeah, not too bad. 
It's a bit more ruder. Yeah, ass and boobs. <laughs> Class. Number two. Cheers HQ. So this is uh, the only racer I've got in my top 10. I could have easily had Wetland Lands or something or Super Hang On as well. But uh, there's just too many games to choose from. And I do prefer this one. Out of the three anyway. Obviously it's from the arcade cabinet as well. I used to love it in the arcades. And I remember outrunning and put, I think, Chase HQ topped it. And when it came to the spectrum, I was over the moon. And yeah, they've done quite a good conversion here. I remember it was on the 64. It wasn't that good on the 64. And uh, I think the Amstrad would probably look better. But gameplay-wise, I think this is probably the better version. Definitely. It's a bit more smoother and a bit more faster. And that's it. Pull them over. So, we've come to number one now. What is my favourite spooky game of all time? It can only be Jetpack. This is the first game I remember seeing. Went to my um, uncle's mother's house, I think, with my dad and my brother. And this is the first game I've seen. And we went to Star Wars at the time, I remember. Obviously, you can shoot laser guns in this. <laughs> the spaceships in it, there's aliens in it. Very simple game. Very simple platformer. But when I seen that laser shooting all over the place, I just thought, wow, this is like the arcades. And I thought, I've got to get that game. I've got to get this computer. So yeah, all you do on this game anyway, build your ship as you can see. And top it up with a fuel. And then blast off. So I'm just like shooting everything inside here. So these are just asteroids at the moment. Uh, I think the next one sort of like fuzzy aliens. You gotta shoot them next. And just keep doing that. Once you've filled up your rocket, it's time to leave. And we're done. There you go. Anyway, that's my top 10 of the ZX Spectrum. Hope you enjoy this and I uh, hope you agree with a lot of the games I put in here. Because it wasn't easy choosing them. Thank you for watching anyway. And uh, see you next time. Take care for now everyone and goodbye.